guys a lot of here. like rain back that way. Mm. Pineapple. Heck good. Is it? Yeah. Love pineapples. That's why I got it. Because you love it. Pineapple anything. Lots of pineapples okay, but I'd rather have I think this is raspberry. Or grape, I don't know. Maybe I think it's raspberry. Be Bloody Mary from the looks of it. No. Man, that breeze is nice. Gosh. I'd like to see it start snowing. <clears throat> On days like this, you gotta eat your popsicle. Hurry. Yeah, I know. I'm already dripping. Looks pretty fair. Looks great. That first one. A better job on that. I did that second one. Wow. I, I can't tell the difference. Looks good. Best part is you can see through them. <laughs> yeah, and. Man. Be a lot better on the heating and cooling right. and all that too. Yeah. So today, mine and Matt's popsicle break is not inspired by working in the garden. It's by changing the windows. Matt's replacing some of our windows. When Matt and Pat built our house 26 years ago, mm -hmm. yeah, 26 years ago, we tried to build it the cheapest way possible, which we did. I mean, you know, we weren't ex extravagant. Uh, and we're mostly pleased with everything, right? Even all these years later. It's a very small, mm. simple house, but it's enough and it's home. But one thing we should have spent more money on was the windows, <laughs> and we did not. We bought the cheapest windows you could buy, and they were fine for a while, even though from the very beginning, in the winter, if it was really cold, they condensated and then they froze. You had ice on the inside of the windows. And that was forever, right? Right. Even from the beginning. But then gradually, over time, what happened is all the windows fogged. They, you know, the seal in between the glass just was ruined from all that condensation, I'm sure. And the freezing. So no matter how, much, how often you cleaned your windows, they just looked dirty. I mean, they looked really dirty. They looked like a deserted house dirty, didn't they? <laughs> uh -oh. Ready for an episode of Abandon. Yeah, Abandon. But, what, about three years ago or something, we saved up enough money to change the ones in the one end of the house, in the kitchen and the living room. We changed those. And that's what you see when you pull up to the house. So I hated for people to pull up and look at those windows and think, our, you know, thank gosh, who lives here? They don't even wash their windows. <laughs> but we changed those. And then, you know, as things would happen, you just we just never got to do the others till now. So I'm so excited. It seems, in one way, it seems like forever ago that we built the house, and in another way, it's like it's like it was yesterday. It goes by so fast. But you have all these big dreams of, and of course we have done keep upkeep on the house and different things we had to do. I had to take the roof off one time and redo it because that was the first metal roof that him and Pap had ever put on. And uh, what did you not do exactly, or you thought would be better? We just we just put the metal straight down on lathing mm -hmm. on top of the roof, and it it did the same thing the windows did. It condensated. It, when, yeah, it condensated, and it would drip in the attic. And sometimes it would drip, it would pond up, and then enough would pond up, it would come out in the window jams. Yeah. You know, you'd be yeah. sitting there <laughs> watching TV, and it'd be a pint of water come out of the, the window jam. It was a weird, it had to be the exact right... Um, mm -hmm 
the weather or temperature the change. temperature change because it didn't do it all the time of course or we would have done something about it sooner but it was just this one perfect like maybe one day a year all of a sudden that would start happening it was the perfect conditions for it anyway so there is things that we had to do but when you're um, like when we moved in, we were here two days before I had Corey and Katie, before we had the twins. Mm -hmm. So we had other things on our mind. Of course, we were just we hurrying even, and hurrying. We didn't even have heat. We didn't have any furniture. We didn't have any furniture. We didn't have any heat and air, uh, no air or anything like that until they mm -hmm. were about seven years old. Mm -hmm. By the time we could afford to do that. And that was only because Matt worked with someone that they could trade out like work. And, and so we, of course, had to buy the... Um, equipment but they did it for cost they didn't charge anything the labor because Matt helped them do stuff right when you're raising a family there's just constantly something always um, you know braces for two girls and if you a lot of you probably have more kids than two I can't imagine but wisdom teeth for two girls just always something of course the school and and then the general things of life like the day i paid those braces off both of them i was so happy and the washing machine died <laughs> it's like okay but when we were matt was working on the windows he's having to use a sawzall and then he told me a great story about it matt you'll have to tell it tell it <clears throat> all of my most all of my battery tools are old from back when we used to build houses, and that's been some years ago. So most of the batteries are bad. So I remembered we had an old Sawzall that we bought when we built the house, and I had never actually even seen one until right around that time. And it's just an old Milwaukee corded skill saw or a Sawzall. Hadn't used it in many, many, many years, but I remembered it should still be here, so I went in the basement this morning and found it. And got it out of the box, and it was kind of rusty and cruddy looking, and I thought, I wonder if it'll still run. So I plugged it up, pulled the trigger, and it would hum, but the blade wouldn't move. So I sprayed a little oil in it and whacked on it a little bit to free it up, and then it freed up and started working. And that's what I use today to cut out some of the old framing to put these new windows in and that thing's not been used gosh I don't know probably 22 25 mm -hmm. years it's just interesting that it was the saw that was used to put the windows in right <laughs> and then now it's being used to replace them and it actually still had a blade in it from back then and <laughs> I used that blade because it was still good yeah um, in those days, that was like the first like sawzalls that first started coming out. And, yeah, and, that was before battery ones yeah, too. Yeah, and you and Daddy thought that was really because it was so oh, yeah. handy, so yeah. handy, right? So, so Matt learned all of his carpentry stuff. Oh, I don't think you learned it all from Pat, but I guess you learned a lot of it from Pat. Yeah, yeah. And I'm so thankful that he can do stuff like that. We've had such a super hot day. As you can see we're probably, we're both sweating. But I see a storm cloud coming our way. So, so maybe it's about to, about to cool off. And we need uh -huh. rain a lot, which is unusual. For the past three or four years, we've been so wet. Who would have ever thought we need, that I would say, we need rain. But we do, we need rain. It looks like we might get some. It's getting really dark. I don't know if that shows up on the camera or not. I hope we get some because we don't have to we'll have to water the garden. Yeah. You can hear the wind coming. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get some of that. Yeah. There's something really exhilarating about a storm coming, even though it's kind of worrisome. You can hear the wind, hear the see the trees. When I was young, I was terrified. What am I? Even yeah. when I was married, I was terrified of storms. Now I just think it's amazing power to be able to see the trees blowing and the, the clouds. Man, that feels so good. Yeah. yeah, it does. It has been so hot today and so humid. So as I was kind of saying at the beginning, how it was our house, we did it very frugal. That's kind of still how we like to live. And I think that's really like, and not just, I can't lay claim to that's only Appalachian, but it is one of the traits that you find in Appalachia. Of course, you find it in lots of other places in the world too. 
but it's kind of a, a rewarding life, isn't it? Yeah. To be frugal. And we've certainly learned that more as we aged. Right. <laughs> so that's, it's not like we started out with that in mind. Uh, but as we aged, it's wonderful to be able to, um, to live frugally, even though our house is small and it's nothing special. Uh, and I used to wish, well, well, I wish we'd have done this, and I wish we'd have done that, and maybe someday we'll be rich and I'll be able to do this, but I don't, I don't even know if I was suddenly rich if I would change anything now. Lots of wind now, so we better go in the house. But as always, thanks for stopping by to help us celebrate Appalachia, and we hope that you drop back by often. Nice, ain't that? That is beautifully nice. Feels so good. We ain't gonna get blown away. It's nice. Oh, it's very nice. You got it done just in time, so my room don't get soaked. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. I don't have to worry about doing that. Just get on the big monster there. Mayor Jerry Long. Been a long time. Me and Katie together be able to lift the wind up there. Oh, yeah. Where, where is the saw saw? Yeah. Hey, that little yellow one right there. Underneath the thing, I went and got my battery. I'm gonna see if it'd run. I'm gonna try it. I ain't used that thing year and year. I put the battery on charge last night. It might not last five minutes.
You want a muffin? You don't have to eat one now. You can eat one later if you don't want one. This way you're gone. Right. But it's strapped right there to the house. That's good. Right there and right there. And that can't go nowhere. That, that no wire, that board screwed to the house for screws that long in three or four places. And then I run the screws down by the side of the walk board so it can't move. Keeps you safe as long as you don't step off. Which I'm gonna have to do wearing the same glasses. I can't. Everything's a blur outside of here. 